Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how I make my black bean and corn quesadillas. Okay, I don't really have a recipe for these, but I have been asked so many times to share a recipe, but I'm just going to cook these in front of you guys and uh, give you general measurements. They don't have to be perfectly measured. It's basically just throwing a bunch of stuff together. John loves these. Like every time I tell him I'm making these, he loves them. So they're really good and really easy. I have a couple packs of white corn tortillas and I'll let you know how many I end up using. I apologize for my voice. I'm fighting a cold. I have two cups of black beans. I have some corn. I have probably about two cups of corn as well. I have cilantro. I love cilantro, so I tend to add a lot. I'm going to use the juice of a lime. I would say probably about half a lime. I have some chopped onions, probably like a small onion chop will work. And then for the spices, I have coriander, garlic powder, cumin, chili powder, salt, and I would normally add jalapeno pepper, but they didn't have any at Trader Joe's and I haven't been to the grocery store since I went there. So I have a little cayenne pepper. I would suggest adding a little bit of jalapeno pepper though. And then I shredded half a pound of cheese. I'm going to add a little chopped tomato and cilantro to the top of mine, but you don't need tomato for the inside. Unless you want, you could throw that in. And then I also like to eat mine with avocado, but you can definitely leave that out. And then you're going to need some olive oil. I actually bake these all in the oven, and I'll show you how I do that, but it makes it so much easier than doing it on a skillet. And they can still get really nice and crispy in the oven, but you can cook a lot of them at the same time. So if you're making these for your family, it's great to cook them in the oven. To a large bowl, I added my black beans, corn, and onion. I'm going to squeeze in my lime. So about half a lime should be enough. I'm also going to add in cilantro. I like a lot of cilantro. I would say add at least a quarter of a cup. You might want more. And then I actually add a little more to the top. You could leave this out. I know some people don't like cilantro and some people love it. <laughs> but you can leave this out if you don't like it. It won't really affect the flavor a whole lot, but um, just make sure you season it really well. Now we are going to add the seasoning. I love very well seasoned food, so I'm going to add quite a bit, and I'll let you know about how much I'm using. So I have cumin, I'll probably add at least two teaspoons of this. Probably like two to three teaspoons. Some garlic powder. Probably like two to three teaspoons of this as well. And coriander. And then two to three teaspoons of chili powder as well. If you're using cayenne pepper instead of jalapeno pepper, obviously you just need a little bit of this because it'll make it really spicy. <laughs> and then I'll probably do like one to two teaspoons of salt. And then I'm just going to mix it all together. Now that we have our mixture all set, we're going to brush the tortillas with some olive oil and this will help them to get nice and crispy. I don't really know how much oil, just until you have a good coating on your tortillas, I guess. So I just brush them really well with olive oil and this makes them just as crispy as if you would cook them in the skillet. So a pretty good amount of oil. 
And then you'll just place that one down and then you can add your mixture and your cheese. Then you'll want to brush your top tortilla with the olive oil as well. Super easy. And then you just continue on until you have as many as you want or you use up all of the mixture. My mixture made seven quesadillas. So to give you good, a good idea, you'll need about half of a pound of shredded cheese and then you'll need about 14 tortillas. Then you're going to pop these in your 350 degree oven. I would say about eight to 10 minutes on each side. You want them to get nice and crispy on each side. Once your quesadillas are nice and crispy on both sides, you can add your toppings. You could do sour cream, guacamole, salsa, whatever you like. I usually slice up an avocado. I have some chopped tomatoes and cilantro and I like a little squeeze of lime. And there you have it. Let me know if you make these and what you think. Thank you so much for watching.